Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got another Missouri unboxing and try on for y'all. Sadly today, Riley is not with me. She's in with her dad. So if you guys are new to my channel, Riley is my dog and she normally will be sitting right next to me while I film my sit down videos, but sadly she is not here today. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a Missouri affiliate. So if you want 10% off of your order, I will have a link down below in the description box you can use it share it with your friends get 10% off I am absolutely majority obsessed I literally wear all their pieces all my rings necklaces earrings all of it are from Missouri. So if there are any pieces that you're wondering about, I will have them linked down below as well as my full Missouri collection. It's kind of getting absurd how many pieces I have in my collection and I might need to do an updated one at this point because I have accumulated a lot. But if you're wondering about any pieces or you're looking for a review on certain pieces, I will have them linked down below in the description box with a playlist. But we are gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing because I've picked out some beautiful, beautiful everyday pieces I feel like you guys are gonna absolutely love. So this is what your Missouri order will come in. It comes in a cardboard box and then it has the beautiful gold wrapped around. It says golden together and then it says Missouri. And I wanna do a quick unboxing for those of y'all who might be new to my channel, who are wondering how your Missouri pieces will arrive. They come in a box like this. Inside of the box here, we have got three additional boxes. They each say Missouri and we'll just grab this one off the top right here. So in our first box right here, it comes like this. In here you will get the fine guide which is just a pamphlet that explains how to care for your jewelry whether it's 14 karat gold or it's vermeil. You will have a little pamphlet on how to care for that. And then you also will get a cleaning cloth that looks like this. And then I've got two cleaning cloths because I think there's two different pieces of jewelry in here. The next thing that comes in the box are your dust bags. So I've got one little dust bag and two dust bags so there must be two pieces in this box like I said it has a little logo on there and I won't show you the unboxing of each box I just wanted to show you guys the vibe of Missouri it honestly kind of matches the vibe I'm going with today the first thing that we got that I think you guys are gonna just absolutely die for is the I think this is called the flat curb chain necklace and I will like I said link all these pieces individually down below in the order that I show them in case I like mess up the name or something like that you guys will be able to find them down there but this is their flat curb chain necklace this is a 14 karat gold piece which means that it is going to be pricier than your vermeil pieces however I Pretty much at this point only wear 14 karat gold because I literally never ever take off my necklaces or my earrings. I do take my rings off at night because I don't like the feeling of anything on my hands at night but bracelets I, I keep all of that stuff on when I'm working out, when I'm showering, when I'm sleeping and so I tend to gravitate towards 14 karat gold pieces because they are just so much more durable than the Vermeil pieces. The Vermeil pieces you're gonna have to take off before you shower and you're definitely not gonna want to work out in them to care for them like that so this is a 14 karat gold flat curb chain and this is something that I'm really excited that I got because I really wanted to show you guys the difference between the classic curb chain which is this necklace that I have right here you guys have probably seen me wear this a lot since I got it I wear it every day like I said I never take it off I was really interested in this one because it looks like this one comes in a much longer length so I'll pop this one on so you can see what the length is right now I've got on I guess I can give you guys a rundown of my jewelry right now I have the curb chain necklace on then I have the rope chain necklace the I think this is the shortest size of this chain then I have the I think this is called the boyfriend box chain the Charlotte ring on my finger the classic dome ring and then this is just one of my wedding bands and then for my bracelets I've got the curb chain bracelet the bold spheres bracelet and then this is from a local jewelry store here in Nashville but this curb chain necklace though is significantly longer than the like OG curb chain I will show you guys what they look like kind of up close but I want to pop this one on so you guys can see the length difference 
Okay, I wanted to zoom you guys in so you can see hopefully. So this is the curb chain necklace and I love the chain of this. This is just a very classic curb chain, just what you think of when you think of a curb chain necklace. However, this is as long as it gets. So it really isn't that long of a necklace. So I definitely feel like this is perfect for layering with something like the rope chain or the box chain. And then this flat curb chain necklace is actually really, really long. This flat curb chain necklace does not have an adjustable clasp. It only has one length. So this is the length of the flat curb chain, which I actually really, really like. I feel like it will actually hang over like sweatshirts and stuff or like scoop net tops. And then this is about as long as the original curb chain necklace will get. So you can see the difference here. This one does have an adjustable clasp, but it doesn't get any longer. It just gets more of like a choker. So I never really wear it on the shortest setting because it gets honestly a little bit like chokerish. So I try to leave it on the longest setting. So this one compared to this one is a drastic difference. If you're looking at either of these, know that the flat curb chain is much longer. However, you really can't shorten it. This one is much shorter and you can shorten it, but you're really probably not going to want to shorten it unless you really want to go for like a choker style. So those are the curb chain necklaces. I actually adore this flat curb chain. It's really, really light. I probably wouldn't sleep in this one just because it is a little bit longer. I feel like this could actually kind of like, you know, be pulled over my face. So I feel like this one I'll take off before bed, but I actually really like it kind of layered with these other pieces. I know it's kind of a lot, but you get the vibe. And then just to zoom you guys in one more time, I really just want you guys to see the difference in the two chains. The flat curb chain is... Like it says, it's very flat, very thin. The regular curb chain is truly just what you would think when you think of a curb chain necklace. So these are the necklaces and I can ride this one a little bit higher usually so that it doesn't overlap with the rope chain. The rope chain actually does not have an adjustable clasp either, but you can choose from three different sizes. This is the shortest size. I really am loving this like longer, thin chain. I feel like honestly, Jason, my husband is probably going to steal this chain from me because he really wanted a gold chain. I actually got him into pinky rings, but I feel like this one he actually would really like, but I'm going to try to keep him from stealing it. <laughs> okay. Next thing in the box, we have got underneath here, a bracelet. And I honestly do not remember the name of this bracelet. So I will link it down below, but it has this really pretty little row of diamonds on it so it's going to be 14 karat gold it has these tiny stones so it's really delicate really really pretty and i actually don't have any bracelets with any sort of gemstones so i thought it would be a really pretty addition to add something kind of dainty and tennis bracelets are quite out of the question for me so i thought this was like a really good good way to add some sparkle without it being like a full diamond tennis bracelet i'm gonna try to get this on normally i have jason help me put my jewelry on but my nails are the shortest they've been in like four months and they look terrible, but they actually make getting jewelry on a lot easier. So for that, I'm grateful. So this is the bracelet here. It's super, super delicate, really dainty and pretty. This is what it looks like next to the curb chain bracelet. This would be really pretty just by itself if you want something really dainty, but has a little bit of a statement. I think this is honestly such a beautiful choice. I feel like if I was a bride or something, this would be a really pretty like wedding day bracelet. So. I really, really love this. Those are the two pieces in that first box. We're gonna get into the second box here. And you guys already know the stuff that comes in it. So I'm just gonna pull this stuff out. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be draped in so much jewelry as if I'm not already, but these, okay guys, I'm so excited about these. I wanna look up the name of these because I just think y'all are gonna really, really love these earrings. Okay, so these are the small chunky hoops in 14 karat gold, which means that they are gonna be, you know, the higher price point, but you will have these literally forever. I mean, these are like so beautiful and the fact that they are 14 karat gold is just unreal. So this is what they look like. They are a chunky small hoop 
and they have this like dome to them almost. And I just love that they are 14 karat gold. You can wear it to the pool, you can wear it to the beach, you can wear it in the shower if you want, you don't wanna take your earrings out. I mean, going gold, 14 karat gold is the move if you are you know, just not super, super careful with all of your jewelry, which I'm not, I just never take it off. Like I literally never take my jewelry off. So these are so beautiful. What I also love about their 14 karat gold pieces is that they are really, really lightweight. So even though this looks like a chunky earring, it feels like nothing. Like it literally feels so, so light. And I feel like that is something that's really important when you are spending as much money as you are on a 14 karat gold piece. You wanna be able to literally wear it all the time, all day long without having to take things off. These are super wearable. They're, I mean, they're so, so light. If you have any of their other 14 karat gold earrings, you know that they are just like, they are weightless. So I'm really excited to throw these in. These are so classic. I'm gonna pop these in. So right now in my ears, I've got in the Curb Chain earrings. I'm a big fan of the Curb Chain. And then I've got on the Pob Diamond Huggies. And then these are from a local jewelry store that just pierced my ears with these. So same over here. And then I've also got on the Essentials Cuff, which is a 14 karat gold cuff. And this is a little mimic of a piercing. So this isn't actually pierced. This is just a fun addition if you want to kind of look like you have more piercings without committing to piercing your ears. But I'm gonna pop out these curb chain earrings. I get questions about these earrings literally all the time. I sleep in these, I work out in these. I just adore these. They're super unique. And like I said, 14 karat gold, so you don't ever have to worry about taking them out unless you just don't want them in. Like I took all of my jewelry out when I went to the lake because we were tubing and just out in the water and I didn't want to lose it. So I, I took it out for that, but for anything else, I just leave it in. So these are the small chunky hoop in 14 karat gold. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love these so much. If you're looking for literally a staple everyday hoop with a little bit of drama, these are it. I mean, these are so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the way that they look with the Pov Huggies. I love this stack right now. Oh, I'm obsessed with these. And like I said, weightless. Like they actually feel like I don't have anything in my ears. They are so, so light for how like chunky they are. It's amazing that I don't even feel like I have anything in my ears right now. I really, really love these. So these are the small chunky hoops and I just think they are amazing. Okay, and then to get into, I think the last box. Yes, to get into the last box, we've got one more to go through and it looks like we've got a few things in here. So the very first thing that we've got are two larger dust bags and inside of these dust bags we have got the large tube hoops really pretty these are a 14 karat gold hoop and they are just literally weightless like you do not even sort of feel these at all okay so i wanted to grab my oversized thin hoops. These ones I have worn ever since I got them. I love them. These are also from Missouri. So these ones are a 14 karat gold. Again, absolutely weightless. The actual clasp is just this like metal that you bend to close it like that. These are the large tube hoops. These ones have a like hook clasp. So there's different closures. These ones are a little bit bigger. These ones are a little bit wider though. So these ones are a little, just the slightest bit thicker than the oversized thin hoops. So these ones are a little bit more bold, but the oversized thin hoop is just the slightest bit bigger round. So I just wanted to grab these because they're actually really, really similar. But I do love that this one has this closure where it's like a clasp versus this one because sometimes these can get pulled but I love this like thickness on these. They're both completely lightweight though. They both have that really lightweight 
tube feel to them, but I feel like both would honestly be a really, really good option and just a really good everyday like staple earring because they're 14 karat gold and they are just your classic bigger hoop. But I wanted to show you guys the difference in case you were looking into these or these. These are just like, I don't know, these ones just feel a little bit more sturdy, whereas these ones are just like really like bendable. Like these are bendable because you have to bend them to get them on. So these ones are a little bit more, not like flimsy. I'm not gonna say flimsy because they're not like cheap and like cheaply made in a bad way, but they are more flexible. Like you are gonna be able to flex these. Whereas the large tube hoops are not flexible whatsoever. So they're a little bit more like sturdy feeling and they just feel really, really nice. So I'm actually gonna pop out this one here. It's the same clasp as these guys. So you still have the same clasp on them and I'm going to pop in the large tube hoops so you guys can see what they look like. And these are just such a good classic hoop. I like that they're a little bit thicker so they're a little bit more dramatic. Great size and I'm truly just obsessed with the fact that they're so light. I could wear these all day long. You can wear these as well all day long. So the other thing, there's two of them by the way, so I have two of them. They each came in a dust bag, but I'm gonna leave these in so you guys can keep seeing what these look like because I'm just obsessed with these like smaller hoops. The next thing, and I think the last thing that we got here are some Pav Huggies. These are called the Diamond U Hoops and I'm gonna do my absolute best to give you a good view of these, but they are, like they say, they're shaped like a U, and then there's diamonds on the front. So I really hope you guys can see this because these are, I mean, just the tiniest little earrings. So I've got you zoomed in here, and I'm just gonna do my absolute best to show you guys these. They are really, really delicate if you're looking for an earring that truly just doesn't even feel like you have one in. Like I honestly might replace this with this at one point because I just love this U shape. You can buy this as a single or you can buy them as doubles, but I'm gonna pop out these ones here because I don't think I can remove that piercing yet. I just got that one, unfortunately. That one's gonna have to be there for a while, but I'm gonna pop these in so you guys can see. I mean, they are truly Truly so, so dainty. I hope I can get them in here. Oh, those are cute though. I love that. That is so, so pretty. So I'll go ahead and pop this one out too so you can see it next to the two options. I really love that though. I feel like I just love how tiny and delicate it is. So this is what it looks like next to the kind of chunkier small hoop. And I just think that is so, so stunning. Let me know down below in the comments if you like this stack better with the big hoop or you like this stack better with the small hoop. I honestly kind of think the small hoop is the move. Like these are so bold and just like kind of a statement. So I really like those. I'm going to take this one out really quick and throw in the Hav Huggy in my main piercing to show you guys some different options here. Now I'm just like playing around. I have so many more earrings I could show you guys different combos with, but I feel like that one is a really pretty combo if you want something super dainty and delicate wearing the huggy on the main piercing and then this little U earring one up. I think that's a really, really pretty combo. And then the last combo that I'll show you guys is with the other earrings that I wear constantly, which are the chain. And I actually paid off to have my nails short because I'm able to get all my jewelry in relatively easily. So even though my nails look terrible, it's actually way more functional. So this is what the chain earring looks like with this really pretty pov huggy. Those are the different options. This whole stack with the cuff, I feel like this is really, really nice. And then, you know, there's just so many things you can do with multiple piercings, you can really like stack them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this new Majuri jewelry with me. I am so obsessed with 
these like stacks right now like i said before be sure to grab my discount linked down below in the description box if you are new here be sure to check out my missouri playlist where i share literally every single piece of missouri jewelry that i have which is a ton so check that out if you guys like this video and you found it helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know if you end up grabbing any of these beautiful beautiful pieces and if you are new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more missouri videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye y'all